What is up, everybody? The Red Dragon here, and we are covering the top stories on VGN. Got a scientific breakthrough that could shed some light on the human species and some uh, capabilities that maybe we have that we aren't consciously aware of. We're talking about fear. Have you ever heard the saying, I can smell your fear? Maybe you heard about it in a movie or a TV show or something. I've always thought that maybe you could smell fear if uh, somebody took a dump in their pants if they were really fearful. But we're talking about something a little bit different here. So scientists have done an experiment where they took mice, okay? And they introduced a smell to these mice. They introduced the smell of cherry blossoms. Every time the mice smelled cherry blossoms, they also received a small electric shock. It didn't take long before the mice started becoming fearful before the shock even actually happened. So they could just smell the smell of cherry blossoms and then they would become fearful or have anxiety. So what happened is then these mice, after they had learned this fear of smell, they then had offspring. They had little baby mice. But these mice never interacted with their babies, so they couldn't have taught this type of behavior to their offspring. And what happened was two generations of offspring also were, they would have this smell introduced to them and they would automatically become fearful and have anxiety. Even though they were never shocked, they had to have inherited this through their genes through their father. Now, aside from this reaction, the mice acted completely normal. They didn't act any more fearful or nervous, you know, throughout the day. It was only whenever they came across this scent, which their father had smelled and become fearful of, that they also became fearful. And so what they think is that because this happens in mice and they can document it, that it's possible that this also happens in humans. And they're hoping that this research kind of opens up possibilities to maybe look at different techniques and way, uh, ways of dealing with uh, different items uh, for humans. For instance, soldiers on the battlefield, they often come back with PTSD. And what they found is some of these attacks can be brought on simply by smell. So it's possible that their offspring could also be inherited with this type of smell. So if they smelt it later on in life, then they could become anxious or, or become nervous or whatever else. So anyway, if we're picking up people's fears that lived before us, you know, as far as smells go, uh, there's, there's no telling what else we could possibly be picking up as well. So it's just a, a really interesting read. I'll leave links down in the description box. It's also not the first study that's been done, uh, you know, when it comes to smelling fear. There was also a, a recent report uh, that, that I read not too long ago where women are more likely to pick up on scent than men. They're, they're, they're more sensitive to the scents. And so they also have done a study where they took a bunch of different men, they sliced them up into two different groups, they let one group of men just sit there and, and watch TV and get all sweaty and then let the, the women uh, smell their shirts and the, the women, you know, they, they smelt it and were disgusted by it or whatever else. It smelt really bad. The other group of men, they had them watch scary movies. So they were watching like Hostel and, and things that have a lot of grotesque things on film. And what they found was that the women actually picked up the scent of fear from that sweat and whenever they were watching the the women's reaction from smelling the different shirts whenever they smelled one that had been watching something scary their eyes lit up like you do whenever you become fearful so we do have all types of, of senses and intuitions of, of things that maybe we aren't consciously aware of so some pretty cool stuff going on as always links are in the description box if you want to read more about this story who knows what all is affecting us that we aren't even consciously aware of or what our parents went through or what our ancestors went through that still have an effect on each of us that does it for me the red dragon i'll see you next time thanks for watching